Okay, so this story is about my robot character, Fifi Max. She, she's awesome. I don't really know what else to say. And her owner, who's a kid who I haven't thought of a name for yet, but I'll think of one later. The story starts off with Fifi and her owner going to this junkyard because Fifi has lost her head and like there's like this big dude and stuff I guess like he owns the place and he's always kind of um annoyed when Fifi and her owner like come in because like they come in for like various stuff so this is like oh crap this is like another thing for their for them to be coming in for when She's asked about how Fifi lost her head once they get to the junkyard. She pretty much, through a flashback, explains that they were at a baseball game. Fifi got way too close to the batter and her head got knocked off. They have no idea where her head is now because it flew so far away. So that's why they're now at the junkyard to find a good replacement. They go through a series of really random possible replacements, none of which really seem to work too well, until they finally decide on this small retro TV. A very odd replacement, but a replacement nonetheless. Everything's like going okay, and it's like, yay, we found a kind of a a bootleg um, solution for Fifi's problem until um, the junkyard owner's robot, like, he finds a remote, and, um, problem with that is um every time the junkyard robot presses a button on the um on the remote it kind of changes Fifi's emotion so so at first like she's like crying and then like he presses another button then she's like dancing then like another one she thinks like she's a dog or a cat or whatever and then she starts running and then like she um like gets all lovey-dovey with him and then um like, Fifi's owner comes by and gets kind of annoyed because it's like the robot is messing with her emotions. And they, like, start struggling in, with the um, remote. And, um, like, they keep going back and forth until um, the remote ends up breaking. And um, what happens is uh, Fifi's emotions get really out of whack. And then she just becomes, like, all evil and wants to kill people. And uh, they're like... Uh, crap and um then then they start running and um they start running and then they run out of the junkyard they're trying to get away from her because like she's all you know crazy and stuff all of a sudden like her head like I guess which has been flying around in orbit for the whole entire time since she lost it it like all of a sudden like falls down back to earth and then it like hits her uh, retro TV head and then replaces itself back where it was and then it's okay. Then she then she's not crazy anymore and everything's okay, I guess. And it really that was kind of the point. Um yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Thanks.